And a heads up for people who plan to travel anytime soon. A new COVID protocol goes into effect in just a few hours, impacting people traveling into the U.S. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris explains. If your holiday plans include traveling overseas, you'll want to make sure you can get back in the country. Starting Monday, all international travelers, including Americans, will have to show a negative COVID test 24 hours before departure. While there are no testing or vaccine requirements for those flying domestically, the White House says it's not completely ruled out. I would say that um, nothing is off the table. But we do have some protections, some strong protections in place already, including requirement of mask wearing. The federal mask requirement has now been extended until March 18th on all domestic flights and public transportation, with the fines doubled for those who don't comply. We really, really want to urge folks to give the folks on the plane some grace. Wear your mask. Think of your neighbors. You know, traveling is a privilege, not a right. If you're hosting holiday celebrations, experts advise to keep gathering small, host guests outdoors when possible, and regularly wash your hands. But travel expert Willis Orlando with Scott's Chief Flight says there will be those who decide not to chance it. Protect your cancellation policy and your change policy with the airline to make sure you understand what your options are if the time comes to travel and you do not feel comfortable. If scrapping the trip is a last minute decision, travel experts advise calling the airline before canceling. If you decide that you're uncomfortable traveling, call the airline, see what they'll do for you. A lot of times they will give you at least the value of the flight in a voucher that you can use on a future trip. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. And a reminder, you can always find updates to travel restrictions, variants, and anything COVID-related on the coronavirus section of our website.